Good evening all, it's just gone 10.30 at night, obviously, because I've got all the lights on, it's dark outside, so it's not going to be 10 in the morning, is it? Shit. And I've actually just noticed something on YouTube, look at this. Probably something daft to get excited about, but I didn't expect, look, one of my videos is in the recommended section. Posted a month ago. In the <laughs> I actually, to be honest, I never expected to see it there. I don't even think I get the views, to be honest. I've only got 101 subscribers, so it's it's going up slowly. Very slowly, so thank you to the new subscribers. I don't really look at my stats, to be honest. Anyway, oh shit. <coughs> Nemo really likes to sleep in weird places. Poser. Meow. <laughs> <coughs> right. It's been a slow day. Yes, it has been a slow day. Don't answer back. Yeah, don't you answer me back. He's happy he's got his chair back. He can't get on the one in the bedroom because it's got a fan on it at the minute. Till I uh, find something else to use. Anyway, we cleared the Lego bench. It's also had a wash down apart from the front. I forgot to do the actual front. So I charge this one up. Apparently, apparently they can take about four hours to charge from dead. So that was completely dead. It didn't even make a, you know, it didn't even make a word. It didn't do nothing when I hit the button. So that's charging. I thought I bought the bloody thing, so I might as well use it instead of keeping it sitting up that corner. I put my HP up here. I'll use this one for when I'm. Uh, Tinkering with Lego for what? Dig up some instructions from the internet or something. Or if I'm reviewing, say, one of my old sets up here or there. Da, 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 da. Or up there. Then I can get the information I need. Without having to wander across to the PC. That's, so I'm just... The idea is... I know it seems lazy, but... The idea is I'll have the camera set up here. Like this, usually. Pointing down at the table um, so I could actually have the information here so I can just read it straight off screen while I'm recording if that makes sense so I haven't got to try and memorize it because my memory is crap short-term memory yeah right <laughs> you know mum used to ask me to I don't know, get a cigarette and light a say from the kitchen so I'd get up, we'd be in the lounge, so I'd get up, get as far as the lounge door, turn around and I'll say, what did you ask me to get? Because in that short space of time, I'd have just forgotten. Especially if someone is talking to me immediately after being asked to go and get something, then that's what I usually forget, so... <laughs> uh, it's annoying, but not much I can do about it. So, my bench is all nice and clean and tidy now. Uh, I had to clean it up because I want to start on the next floor of the Lego Hospital. Eventually. Um, that won't be tomorrow because I ain't going to be here. <laughs> uh, I haven't heard anything to the contrary, so I presume I'm still being picked up round about 10 o'clock in the morning <sighs> we've got to go clear the workshop because my stepdad has found someone selling I think they're chipboard panels um, so he wants to completely redo the floor in the workshop because uh, it's quite well, it's getting quite soft and spongy right up the far end. 
Um, and he did go through the floor. <laughs> so I think he's getting a bit fed up because it's right where he does all his work. Um, where he makes his pro... I think it's a protein skimmer. Something to do with... Um, Marine fish tanks. I think he called it a protein skimmer. Uh, or no, an algae skimmer. That was the one. Which is just basically a little tank. Or in his case, he's made it out of perspex. And um, a light either side. And you'll have a tube go right across the top with holes in and a bit of mesh that hangs down. With the water that runs down it and that drains out of the bottom and goes back into the tank. And the idea is the light will force the algae to grow on that mesh and not in the tank. So help to keep your tank clean. And it will act as a natural filter. <clears throat> so he's decided to make them because you can't get them in the UK. Anyone with a marine fish tank that wants one has to import them from the US. That's the only place that makes them so... Um, yeah, he has uh, managed to sell a few already. Um, all he's using for lights, to light it up, is two 10 watt LED floodlights, one either side. Um, well, should be plenty of strong enough light in a small black box. That's all it is, it's just a black box. Um, but to protect the light, he's put a clear bit of uh, Perspex acrylic. Um, between where the mesh is and the tube, he's done. He does a good job of, of making them. I have to say, you know, he gets um, a company to cut the acrylic for him, and he assembles it in the uh, workshop, and then finds buyers. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's bloody good. But uh, yeah, you can't really walk, or work, I should say, if you're going to risk going through the floor. <laughs> um, the ceiling needs some patching as well, but I don't know if he wants to just do the whole ceiling, or just to do the patch where the roof leak rotted out. It hasn't rotted the main support beams. What's wrong with this camera? Focus, thank you. No idea why it did that. Maybe it's the LED spotlight on it that didn't like... Yeah, where was I? Oh yeah. Um, I don't know if he's just going to repair where the leaky roof rotted out the pliers. It's say similar sort of stuff you get on, say, like a back of the chest of drawers or a wardrobe or something. That's, well, that's what it seems like to me. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, I don't know if he's just going to patch that bit or do the whole ceiling. Or, and I think he wants to do the walls as well because where the damp's got in there they're all bloody wobbly all over the place you go and pull something out of a um, power outlet and you feel like you're going to pull the outlet off the bloody wall <laughs> <clears throat> and he did ask if I could uh, well he's going to want all the power outlets repositioned anyway Uh, I don't know if he's gonna... Oh. Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna do that. I think he'll do that eventually, because I think this guy's selling them at like two pounds a sh big old sheet, so... But of course, to do this mammoth task, not only do we have to empty out all the tools, toolboxes and equipment that's in there, all the benches have got to come out that are in there and whatnot. And he's also looking for some um, kitchen units that are free. You know, that's perhaps someone's just had a kitchen refit and they're dumping the old cabinets. He does. He's not fussed if he gets the um, doors for them, he just wants the carcasses basically. Because uh, he wants to put them da all down one side of the um, workshop. Which is fair enough. I barely do anything in there anyway. Um, 
So yes, I think tomorrow we'll only get as far as emptying out the workshop. I don't think we'll get much further. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, that bike I picked up yesterday, well, frame I picked up yesterday, that will just be spares. I haven't got a hanger for the um, back of it. So, it's got a good seat post and seat on it. Quick release seat post clamp, I'll have that off at the crank, the derailleur, because it's got the front derailleur. Handlebar, handlebar stem. And I soaked the forks in WD-40 overnight. Gave them a good hard knock earlier today. And boof, down on the floor. And uh, they released. <laughs> they're now working. And they're nowhere near as soft as the ones that are on the Claude Butler at the moment. So when I get a chance this week, I want to change the forks. They are disc. Yeah, they have got a disc mount on them. I've got brake discs on my uh, Claude Butler, so those forks wouldn't have been any good if it didn't have the um, two mounts on there for the bolts for a um, brake caliber, but that has. It's got it on the rear as well, so I don't know what I'm going to do with the frame. It might go in the cupboard as a future project, or I might just stick it on the trailer. I think that might end up on the trailer actually. Brake levers are a bit crappy, I don't think I'll keep those. The chain, that doesn't actually look that old to be honest, so I'll take that off. I will check it for wear though. people are still putting the wrong answer to that uh, I can't remember if I actually talked about it but it was like a, a mathematic puzzle done with flowers and people were getting it wrong but someone's now done it with um, Mexican foods <laughs> like that and uh, it is so easy I don't understand how I failed math at school no three of those equals 60 Two, four, six, twenty each. And you've got one of these plus two of these equal thirty. And I've just had a friend pop up. <laughs> I do hate it when Facebook does that. Equal thirty. So that means these two have got to be worth five each. Twenty plus five plus five is thirty. So we've got five. Well, this minus this equals 3, so 5 minus 2 is 3. So you've got 2 plus 20 is 22. Oh, I've actually put a plus here, not a minus. The flower one actually, um, the flower one has a multiplication symbol there. This has actually got a plus. So that would be 27. How can it confuse the heck out of you? It's easy when you read it. I don't know. Like I said, I failed math at school. I failed the GCSE. Got big fat F. I can hear Nemo snoring behind me. My friend from France didn't actually realise how fast news spreads across um, Facebook because he doesn't use Facebook. He refuses to use any social media. <laughs> and in a sense, I don't blame him. But, uh, yeah, because he was talking about um, from the new Star Trek series, Anton, and I've forgotten his last name, 
who was killed yesterday after his car rolled and crushed him. Uh, may he rest in peace. But, uh, yeah, he doesn't realise that stuff like that can go around Facebook like a wildfire. I don't need the TV up the corner or in the bedroom. I don't watch the news. I haven't done it in years. I just go on Facebook. And I can find anything out within the space of 24 hours. Easy. Less than that sometimes if it's big headlines. Because <clears throat> if it's not... Because I do follow a lot of news agencies on Facebook. Like The Mirror, just to take the piss out of it. And local ones like the EDP and North Norfolk News. So, yeah. <laughs> if I don't see a post from them, I'll see someone sharing a post from them. So, yeah. It doesn't take long for news to travel. Oh, I've got a message from um, that eBay seller that I bought those two lamps from, the American one and the Dorman 360. They have been posted. So, theoretically, Wednesday morning, I should have two more lamps. The um, red JSP didn't arrive. Um, it may not arrive before I leave. If it doesn't arrive before I leave in the morning, I'm going to put a little note on the door saying please leave parsley either on the shelf or in the outside cupboard. Like I said, I don't bother locking the outside cupboard because there's nothing in there worth nicking. <laughs> nothing of any monetary value, I mean. What could I sell a second-hand bike wheel for? A couple of quid if I'm lucky. <clears throat> I hope you heard that. That's actually a quiet snore for him. <laughs> I nudged his ear with the um, screen on the camera, that's why he woke up. <laughs> I was trying to get as close as I could without touching him because that would have disturbed him. Bless him. And I come home last night. Yeah, last night from Mum's. And he was sitting up this corner watching for me. He does. He'll sit up the windows and watch for me. Not all the time. Sometimes he is uh, asleep and doesn't hear me arrive. But sometimes he's awake and he'll uh, sit up the windows watching the car park. Waiting for me to come home, bless him. Does that mean you're not going to come to bed with me tonight? Or are you going to sleep on the chair? She likes to sleep on the end of the bed. A number of times I've swung my legs round and accidentally kicked him out of the bed. Because <laughs> I'll wake up during the night and I won't know he's down there. Because sometimes he doesn't come to bed straight away. Well, it sounds weird saying it like that, doesn't it? So um, I'll fall asleep on the bed and then he'll come along later on and curl up at the bottom of the bed. And if I wake up and I can't feel him with my feet, because sometimes he gives my feet lots of room and other times he doesn't. So sometimes I'll actually know he's there because my feet can barely move and other times I won't. So on the times I, he's um, left my feet lots of room, I've completely forgot myself and swung my legs around and got dunk straight into the cat and he's got startled and jumped, jumped off the bed. And a bit of a stutter there. Bless him. No, I didn't have no meat this morning, so I put cat biscuits in his dish. And he still crazed my ass because he wanted meat. He didn't want the biscuits. He did eat the biscuits in the end. Uh, <laughs> then I went to... It's only because I went to Little and I actually got what I wanted for breakfast and completely forgot to get the tin of cat food. But I got it now. I got it when... Um, 
mum was here this afternoon. Right. <sighs> Better go to sleep soon, I think. And I'll switch my alarm back on on my clock as well. I don't know how, but that went off the other day, and I don't remember turning it back on. <clears throat> I'm still waiting on those circuits I ordered. No idea how long they're going to take to get here. I've never bought from Hong Kong. Hopefully. Well, I've posted to Australia and that's taken about a week. So, I suppose about a week. Might get. They might appear Friday or Saturday, if not next Monday. I'm not in any hurry for them. So, it don't bother me. Did I put my bike away? Yeah, I did put the bike away. For a second there, I'd forgotten whether I'd uh, gone downstairs to put my bike away. Oh. Right. Do I need to take anything to Mum's tomorrow? No, because I'm not going to be doing anything, am I? Other than just bloody emptying the workshop and sorting the crap out. Eventually, me and Mum will get to do a bloody car boot sale. One, we can't get to the stuff in the workshop at the moment. And two, the weather's been shit anyway. Shit today as well. It got out really nice this evening, but all day it was dull and wet. Warm. It wasn't cold. It wasn't sweaty hot, but it wasn't cold either. But... <laughs> The weather this year is just absolutely ridiculous. It's even more ridiculous ri ridiculous than it was last year. I don't like getting hot and sweaty, but uh, this weather really is... It's depressing. There's no sun. It's just like one long fucking winter with sunny spells in between, that's all it is. Hey. Oh, it's 11 o'clock. So that means, what, I've been on camera half an hour. Oh, nearly 25 minutes. Well, I think I've got everything on. I'll try that again. I think I've covered it. Everything. No, I haven't. I've forgotten one thing. Mum's been to look at another washing machine. Because the one she's currently got leaks. It's leaked ever since she bought it. And she knew it had a leak um, before she bought it. But the problem was, she needed a washing machine. <laughs> a washing machine, I sh should say. Not a washing machine. Anyway. This is an LG brand. And uh, I've just got to plug you in. Um, apparently, when the j drum rotates, it makes a scraping noise. And uh, she's hoping that it's just something, um, you know, like a hairpin or something gotten between the uh, inner and outer drums. Which would be a really easy fix. <laughs> uh, yeah. So she's taking a gamble and uh, going for it. Uh, it's not that old. I forgot to ask Mum how old it is, but I know it's not that old. Um, about £500 worth of machine, apparently. But uh, Mum said they were, you know... A wealthy, you know, the upper class sort of people. 
more, you know, more money than they probably know what to do with, which is probably why they're sending it for 20 quid, because they don't care. You know, they'll just go out and buy another one. So, yeah. I said to Mum, even if it isn't worth you fixing it, you can still put it back on Gumtree and sell it for spares or repairs and get your money back, so... It's no, uh, no loss, no gain, really, if that happens. But if it's repairable and it's not going to cost a great deal... Then, uh... She's gained a decent washing machine, because she had an LG in the past. And that must have lasted her... I think that lasted her about six years before that finally uh, quit on her. Well, it was only because it was getting too expensive to repair, because the parts were getting harder to get hold of, because of its age. Because of its age. I'll get my uh, grammar correct. <laughs> so, yeah. Ah, oh, tickly nose for some reason. What is it people always message me when I've got this on? I was tempted to take this, but... I don't think Stepdad would like being on camera, so... Sorry, I'll just have to talk about it when I get home. And I was thinking camera, and I just typed camera. It was meant to say, how are you, not camera. No, and I still got it. Hiya, I'm good. How are you? There we go, we got there eventually. Oh, dear. Uh, What noise was just a bloody charger lead on the glass. Thought I'd bet just type a quick reply, otherwise she'd think I'd either gone to bed or I just didn't want her thinking I was ignoring her. Yeah, someone's pushed a YouTube video. What is it? That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Looks good from here. <laughs> good way of being an admin, and it looks good from here. Can't read what it says, but it looks good from here. <laughs> As you have to say, being an admin on a lot of these groups is quite easy. The, uh, the best thing is, I think, no, actually it's not the best thing. I think what makes it easy for me is I don't get friendly with a lot of the users in the group, so if boss man of the group said, I want this person banned, you know, I just ban. Because, <laughs> you know, I just see them as just random people I don't know and will never meet. Um, but when I used to play that game for Cadia many, many years ago and I uh, had my own dream, it used to get harder in there because you'd get friendly, well, not just with the characters, you know, that role played in your dream, but with the people that played them as well. So that made things a bit awkward and that used to start a lot of arguments. That's one reason why I bloody quit it because... You know, you're trying to plan a game and trying to be mature and an adult over it, and uh, everyone acts like little kids. <laughs> Actually, most people that played that game were um, teenagers anyway, so... I quit it, though. I quit that. I quit Second Life as well. I haven't been on there in years. Second Life was just the same as for Cadia, really, just a, a larger version with lots of other avatars and the ability to make your own avatar 
from scratch, which you can't do on a Fercadian. Fercadia was basically just very animal related. At least with Second Life you could have humans, elves, fairies, whatever the fuck you like. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll just quit them both. Too much of a headache for me. I will say that my own groups, group I should say, because I've only got the um, old trucks and lorries group, I've never had to ban anyone because they misbehaved. It's only been spammers, you know, spamming bloody adverts for something like Ray-Bans or bloody whatever else it is I've seen. Which makes my life easier. And usually if there's something uh, my me the members of my group don't like, they'll report it to admin anyway, so I'll see it and delete it. And, uh, yeah, no one's ever got, f well, not that I've noticed, no one's ever sort of got fighting with anyone or anything. I go in and I check every once in a while. I was going to say, I was going to have to find my Aunt Acid's one. They're there. <laughs> Left them in Mum's car last night, but I'm glad I got them out today. Lips went dry for some reason. and start to stick together. I've now got two members of my group that are regular posters. And I can't find anything from one of them. <laughs> oh well. <sighs> yeah, fuck it out. Hmm, classic custom cars. I look like an interesting group. Right. I think I've babbled on for long enough. I'm awake, honest. <laughs> right, I'm going to say goodbye and I'll talk to you all tomorrow night when I get home from Mum's. If I'm still going over, like I said, I've heard nothing to say otherwise, so... But if I get up early and no one turns up, I won't be happy. Anyway, talk to you all tomorrow night. Bye.